Hey everyone, welcome back to another CSCS Time Attack recap video. This time we are back at TMP in Cayuga doing the reverse layout. This is what CSCS refers to as the SB layout. It is the track in reverse with an addition of two chicanes. My morning did not go as planned. After sitting out the first two sessions, I decided to go out from my first session and my shifter bolt broke. Now this is the bolt that connects the left hand linkage to the shifter and as you can see it's in two pieces, one part in the linkage and the other part I had to extract from the shifter and then I used what was left in the link to get back out there. At this event there were 10 cars in street front wheel drive so I was eager to get out there and set a good lap down. As you can see, my third gear was still not cooperating with me. Going down the main straight through the chicane, I was having a lot of difficulty putting that car into third gear and sometimes even into fourth gear which told me there is yet another issue with my transmission. I tried again and as you can see, I'm still struggling to get into third. I even have to pop it a few times before it gets into gear to start another lap. Just to put things into perspective, this is my car going through the chicane, struggling to find third gear, not paying attention to my line, and very slow. And as you can see, Alex comes through with the Subi. Good line, good pace, perfect execution. He even got a podium that day. Still, determined to try to set some sort of lap time down to get into the finals, I try another lap, and before I even get to the final turn, the car is not going into gear. So I decided to just pull off and end my session. For me, this really sucks because I've done this layout before. I've done a 126 when the car was still only 300 horsepower, when the car had, you know, when the suspension wasn't as good, when I as a driver was not as great. I really thought that I would have been able to do good today. And even a five year old would know when it's not your day. Nonetheless, we go on to the rebuild for the next event. It's going to be in Calabogie. k -Tune has sent over a new boat already free of charge, free shipping. And while working on the shifter, I noticed that it has a lot of play. I decided to remove the bolts that keep the shifter in place. Uh, it's just four bolts. It's a 5mm Allen key. If you need to remove yours after seeing this, it's an easy process. My plan is to build a washer or spacer that's going to go around the bushing and hopefully prevent that play from happening. Here's the washer I made. It's a 30mm OD and a 23mm ID, just in case you want to make one for yours if you have this shifter. And as you can see here, with me putting as much pressure as I possibly can, there is no play at all. I've already started removing the transmission. Uh, my plan is to pick it from the top. It's a long process, but it's going to be necessary to do before the next event. 